Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever it is, no matter where you're at. This is my second take. The first one, I just, as soon as the second number one popped up there, I started rambling. <laughs> and I didn't intend to do that. I didn't have anything planned when I put the phone, uh, put the camera up on the tripod there. <clears throat> And this crud started running out of my head and out of my lungs all at the same time. And so I just stopped that video and we're going to try it again. And y'all, we got more snow coming. There's snow coming from the southwest, from the west, from the northwest, and from the sky. All coming right here. I, the way it's looking, I'm going to be celebrating July the 4th with snow. And I, that's something I ain't ever done anywhere. Wherever you live, does it ever snow on July 4th? And, and for those of you not in America and had, <clears throat> had an F on your report card in history, July 4th is Texas Independence Day when we whooped butt on England. Sorry for all of you English friends. I'm from England and Wales. Part of me came from England and the other part came from Wales. Not really. We started off in England and then they had <clears throat> had some plague down there and everybody was dying so they ran south down to Wales and shared it with the Welsh friends. And so when my family came to America from United Kingdom, they came from Wales, but we're really English. All right, I have wasted enough time and I, I trashed the first video because I was rambling too much and that's all I've done in this one so far. But anyway, y'all got some history lessons, so that's not, not bad. All right, let me get, and y'all, I can see good, I can. It's just the light is over there, and I am over here, and the book is between me and the light, and so I got shadowed. I got like fifty thousand shadows on this thing. If I turn around and show you, then the light would be show, shining right on it, and then y'all would think I'm crazy. Well, you probably think that anyway, but you'd surely think it then. I've got remember that I bought that circle light a couple of months ago. I may drag it back out and set it up kind of over to the side over here. That way I'll have light coming from that way and light coming from that way. Maybe that'll help. But that's what my problem is. It's not my eyes. <clears throat> I got that eye that itches and stays red all the time, but that doesn't affect my sight. But you know what? This mouth affects everything. <laughs> I better get busy. All right, continuing in the book of Zechariah, then I, <clears throat> then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. I got some cherry rolls over there, and I even got some cinnamon rolls, but I never saw a flying roll. And he said unto me, Oh, this roll must be able to talk. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered and said, I see a flying roll. Sounds like an answer I would give. Except if I saw a flying roll, I'd probably faint. <clears throat> and I don't know what he's talking about yet. I don't remember studying Zechariah. I'm not squinting because I can't see. I'm squinting because that page is burned over and plus I forgot where I was at. Oh, here we're going to get a description of that flying roll. It's a length of 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. 
Then he said unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth, for every one that stilleth, that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side. <clears throat> So it's the flying roll of curse. A curse on those that steal stuff? I don't know. I better read some more. And to everyone that sweareth. So don't steal and don't swear. We learned that already. And we're just in the first three verses. <laughs> Look, look what we've learned already. And I will bring it forth, says the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the role of him that sweareth falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of this house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Now that's a pretty scary flying roll. <laughs> Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me, Lift up nine, now thine eyes. <laughs> Lift up your nine eyes. Lift up now thine eyes, however many you got, and see what is this that goeth forth. And I said, What is it? And he said, It is an ephah that goeth forth, he said moreover, this is their resemblance through all the earth. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead, and this is a woman that sitteth in the midst of the ephah. Only God could get by with saying that. You don't say stuff like that about a woman. If God can do anything. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead, and this is a woman that sitteth in the midst of the ephah. And he said, This is wickedness. And he cast it into the midst of the ephah, and he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof. Then I lifted <clears throat> up mine eyes, then lifted I up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, there came out two women, and the wind was in their wings, for they had wings like the wings of a stork. And they lifted up the ephah between the earth and the heaven, and said I to the angel that talked with me, whether do these bear the ephah? And he said unto me, To build it a house in the land of Shiner, and it shall be established and set there upon her own base. And I turned and lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold, there came four chariots out of from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of brass. In the first chariot were red horses, and in the second chariot, black horses. I wonder who was pulling the chariots if the horses were in them. Then I answered and said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these, my lord? And the angel answered and said unto me, These are the four spirits of the heavens, which go forth from standing before the Lord of all the earth. The black horses which are therein go forth into the north country, and the white go forth after them, and the grizzled go forth toward the south country. And the bay went forth, 
and sought to go that they might walk to and fro through the earth. And he said, Get you hence, walk to and fro through the earth. So they walked to and fro through the earth. Then cried he upon me and spake unto me, saying, Behold, these that go toward the north country have quieted my spirit in the north country. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Take of them of the captivity, even of Heldai, of Tobijah, and of Jebediah, which are come from Babylon, and come thou the same day, and go into the house of Judea, the house of Joseph, the son of Zephaniah. Then take silver and gold, make crowns, and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest. And speak unto him, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold, the man whose name is the branch and he shall grow up out of his place and he shall build the temple of the Lord and a lot of times when y'all think I'm having call them seeing it's that gunky stuff that gets on my eyes kind of like a thick scummy film and I gotta, if, when it gets bad enough, I gotta wipe them. And sometimes, there's something else. There's a bunch of reasons I can't see good. I don't think any of them's because of my eyesight. Oh, sometimes when it may appear that I'm having eye problems, I'm staring here trying to figure out what the heck I'm reading. And I know I'm not supposed to be here studying. I'm supposed to be standing here reading. But, you know, if there's something I don't understand, such as a flying roll, I got to try to figure it out real quick. And I hadn't figured it out yet. And there's probably a hundred more excuses I could make. <laughs> I know it hasn't got anything to do with me being old. I know that's not one of my problems. Not this time, anyway. Now, now my problem is i got to find out where I was at again. I, I read about the man whose name is The Branch. Okay, that's where I left off. Even he, even though we just said this, the last few words he just said, he said it again. It says, even he shall build the temple of the Lord, and he shall bear the glory, and shall sit and rule upon his throne, and he shall be a priest upon his throne, and the council of peace shall be between them both, and the crowns shall be to Helen, and to Tobijah, and to Jedidiah, Jedi, Jedi, I, I don't know how to say some of these names, and to hen, like a hen, like a female chicken, spelt the same way, exactly, and to hen, the son of Zephaniah, for a memorial and the temple of the Lord. Friends, if my mama had named me Hen, I would have had my name changed. And they that are far off shall come and build in the temple of the Lord God. And he shall know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto you. 
and this shall come to pass if ye will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. And I'm going to read that one again, y'all, and I'm going to highlight some words this time. And highlighting some words means BAM! And they that were far off, and we're all, every one of us, even those of you that's good, we're all far off. We're so far off without Jesus' blood and our faith in him. They know where no way we could possibly get close enough where that far off to ever enter into heaven. Bam. That's how far off we are on our own. <clears throat> <clears throat> And this shall come to pass if ye will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. And he is your God. He is your Lord, whether you accept him as that or not. Right now, it matters all the time, but it doesn't matter near as important as in the end of time, then it is going to make an eternity of difference. And you don't know when the end of time is going to be, so you better do something about it right now today. And that, I'm not joking around now. I'm serious. Chapter 7 of the book of Zechariah, and it came to pass in the fourth year of King Darius, that the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah in the fourth day and the ninth month, even in Chislo, when they had sent unto the house of God Sherezer and Regimelech and their men to pray before the Lord and to speak unto the priests which were in the house of the Lord of hosts and to the prophets, saying, should I weep in the fifth month, separating myself, as I have done these so many years? <sighs> then came the word of the Lord of hosts, saying unto me, Speak unto all the people of the land, and to the priest, saying, When ye fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh month, even those seventy years, did ye at all fast unto me, even to me? He got, kind of got him pinned in the corner now, doesn't he? And when ye, this is still God, the Lord of hosts speaking here. And when ye did eat, when ye did drink, did ye not eat for yourselves and drink for yourselves? Should ye not hear the words which the Lord hath cried by the former prophets when Jerusalem was inhabited and in prosperity and the cities thereof round about her when men, when men inhabited the south and the plain? And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment, and show mercy and compassions every man to his brother. And oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor, and let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. But they refused to hearken, and pulled away from the shoulder, and stopped their ears, that they should not hear. Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts hath sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Therefore it is come to pass that as he cried, and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, 
hath saith the Lord of hosts. But I scattered them with a whirlwind. It looked like another earthquake going on. But I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. Thus the land was desolate after them that no man passed through nor returned, for they laid the pleasant land desolate. Again the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, I was zealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. <clears throat> Thus saith the Lord, oh, that church gone. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for every age. I don't understand that. Do they have young children's staffs and teenage chat uh, staffs and Old women chat staffs and old men staffs. Do you have to change staffs as you age? I never heard that before. And I never heard of boys and girls having staffs. Okay, anyway. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, If it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of his people in these days, should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, saith the Lord of hosts? Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. In truth <clears throat> and in righteousness. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Let your hands be strong that ye hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. For before these days there was no hire for man, nor any hire for beast, nor neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the affliction. For I set all men, every one, against his neighbor. But now I will not be unto the residue of this people, as in the former days saith the Lord of hosts. For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due, and I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. And it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so will I save you, and ye shall be a blessing, fear not, but let your hands be strong. Bam! For thus saith the Lord of hosts, as I thought to punish you, when your fathers provoked me to wrath, saith the Lord of hosts, and I repented so again, have I thought in thee in these days to do well unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah, fear ye not. And we need to hear that hear that promise from God if we have our faith in him we can say fear ye not to any situation in our life it doesn't matter what it is
maybe if I, I don't know when I'll ever have time to do a regular video where I do a study with you anymore. I, I don't have time anymore. If I ever do, maybe I'll do one on that because that would be a good one to do it on. Plus, I've got two or three over there that the Holy Spirit gave me scripture for. I just, I can't get anything done. I mean, I get a lot done, just not that kind of stuff. These are the things that you shall do. Speak. Speak. Me and all you women, we don't have a problem with that, do we? Oh, goodness. I, I'm going to run all of you all for it's over with, probably. These are the things that you shall do. Speak ye every man. Oh, he's telling the men to speak. I heard him good on that one, didn't I? Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. I have no gates. I have had a bunch of gates, but presently I have no gates. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor, and love no false oath. For all these are things that I hate, saith the Lord. Amen, Lord. Amen to that. The only oath I want to take is the one I got with him. I don't care none about any other oath. Unless you want to get married to me, then we'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, mercy me. Now here, I'm, I'm not tarrying because I'm blind. I'm tarrying because I'm lost. Okay, we got the, the word of the Lord of hosts came unto me saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, The fast of the fourth month and the fast of the fifth and the fast of the seventh and the fast of the tenth. They need an Excel spreadsheet. Shall be to the house of Judah joy and gladness and cheerful feast. Therefore, love the truth and peace. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. It shall yet come to pass that there shall come people and the inhabitants of many cities. And the inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go also. Yea, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all languages and of the nations even shall take care, take hold of the skirt of him. I don't wear a skirt, so y'all can't take hold of my skirt. Take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. I do not identify with female. The burden of the word of the Lord in the land of Hadrach and Damascus shall be the rest thereof when the eyes of man as of all the tribes of Israel shall be toward the Lord. And Hamath also shall border thereby Tyrus and Sidon thought it be very wise. 
I'm going to stop y'all. I, I got a few verses into chapter 9, but I've read you several already. So I'll wrap it up, and I'll be back this evening, I reckon. Love y'all. Hope I didn't keep you too long. Hope I wasn't too goofy. Yeah, I'll stop it. Love y'all. God bless you.